Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about Eternals. We will discuss their origin and their powers and abilities. Since now that we are getting the Eternals in the MCU, they are going to be the most powerful team of superheroes. The Eternals have received less exposure in comics or for that matter in any other form of media. Compared to all other properties that Marvel Studios has brought to the big screen, they are even more obscure than the Guardians of the Galaxy. Millions of years ago, cosmic god-like beings known as the Celestials came to Earth and experimented with human DNA. The product of their experimentation was the creation of two offshoots of the human race, the Eternals and the Deviants. The Immortal Eternals are vastly superior to both the human race and the genetically deformed Deviants. Since Eternals physically resemble humans, they have found it easy to live amongst them in secret, whereas the Deviants have been forced to find a safe haven underground. But Earth isn't the Eternals' only home. Some of them split off and settled in other areas of the universe, such as Saturn's moon, Titan, the homeworld of Thanos. As Eternal civilizations developed and expanded, there were eventually Titanian, Uranian, Polar, and Olympian branches of the species. The Polar and Olympian Eternals are both based on Earth, with the main group settled in the mountains of Greece in the hidden city of Olympia. Now before we get into how powerful they are and what to expect from them, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss an upcoming update. And with that out of the way, let's get started with the video. Due to the cosmic energy that suffuses an Eternal's body and the unbreakable mental hold they have over their physiological processes, the Eternals of Earth are effectively immortal. They live for millennia, do not fatigue from physical exertion, are immune to disease and poison, and are unaffected by environmental extremes of cold and heat. Most cannot be injured by conventional weaponry, and even if they somehow are, an Eternal can rapidly regenerate any damage as long as they are able to retain their mental hold over their bodies. However, this mental bond can be broken. In the 2006 series, it was also stated that Eternals are able to absorb oxygen directly from water and therefore cannot drown. In the same series, Icarus was plunged into molten metal and experienced great pain, but no physical injury, which the Deviants attributed to a force field that protects Icarus even when unconscious. All Eternals are potentially capable of superhuman strength. The limits of their strength can be increased as a result of years of focusing some of their energy towards that purpose. They can project concussive blasts and energy from their eyes and hands. Eternals can not only read and control minds but they can also create grand illusions, which are impossible to tell apart from reality. They can also teleport over vast distances. The most Eternals prefer not to use this ability as many find it uncomfortable and according to the 2006 series. It also greatly depletes their store of cosmic energy. And if that was not OP already, they can also transmute objects, altering both their shape and composition. But the extent of this ability varies from one Eternal to another. In addition, groups of Eternals can initiate a transformation into a being called the Uni Mind, which is a vastly powerful psionic entity that contains the totality of the powers and abilities of all the beings that comprise it. The core group of Eternals in the comics consists of Icarus, Thena, Circe, Makari, Gilgamesh, and Zuras. Of these, Zuras is the wise father figure and leader of the Eternals. While Cersei is a fun-loving party girl, an Avenger, and one of the Eternals' most powerful members. Icarus is said to be the fastest flyer of all the Eternals. He also possesses telepathy, is able to cast low-level illusions, and can rearrange the molecules of other substances. In combat, he wields cosmic energy to enhance his physical strength and durability. He can release energy from his hands and eyes in the form of heat, light, or concussive force. The second Eternal Thena is said to be a fierce warrior, which is an accurate description of the daughter of Zurus and a one-time leader of the Eternals. Thena has spent centuries training her powers, is also an expert in wielding various forms of weaponry, with her favorite weapons being a powerful, golden spear and a crossbow that fires bolts of cold energy. Then there is Circe, who can manipulate matter on such a grand scale that she outshines all Eternals in this category. She can take the molecules in a person or object and reshape them into whatever she pleases. Makari is the fastest Eternal known to exist. Prior to his regeneration by the Dreaming Celestial, Makari could travel beyond the speed of light, but it risked placing him out of sync with normal space-time. Makari sacrificed most of his powers to achieve these god speeds. The only Earth-based Eternal stronger than Icarus is Gilgamesh, who in the MCU will be played by Don Lee. Gilgamesh ranks near the top of the Marvel Universe when it comes to strength, as he is on the same level as Thor and Hercules, and above heroes like Captain Marvel, Namor, and more. This, combined with his other natural abilities as an Eternal, may make him a contender for the MCU most powerful character. And with that, we will bring this video to an end. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.